Hey guys, it's your girl Chelsea. Welcome back to another vlog. I want to go to Starbucks. It's been a while. And I literally went to bed with a headache and I woke up with a headache today. So it's just like, what's going on? Um, and I took Advil last night, but I still woke up with a headache. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I slept enough. So I don't know if I'm caffeine deprived or have I've had too much caffeine lately. We're gonna risk the odds and we're just gonna get some caffeine. Let me go ahead and go inside to the Starbucks. I have some trash to throw out. You guys, I hate when I forget. I had like food trash in here and now it smells like freaking food. Disgusting. So yeah, I'm definitely throwing that out. Why is there a freaking random pumpkin? A random dead looking pumpkin over here. What the heck? Okay. Let's go ahead into Starbucks. Let's see if they have any new cups because I have enough points for a free cup, but I also might just wait until like Christmas, until the Christmas cups come out because I saw some and I'm not sure if they're actually gonna be here. I saw some posted on the internet and they look pretty cute. But if there's nothing like, oh my God, amazing, I'm not gonna get it. So anyways, I got this messy bun going on. It's like really uh, pissing me off today. Um. I find like random tutorials and it was like really annoying and hard to do and impossible and I still feel like it didn't turn out right. So yeah, but it, like if I do anything else with my hair today, it's just gonna look jacked up. Like if I try to just do a ponytail now, it's gonna be all crinkly and crazy and so it's just a messy hair type of day, I guess. So yeah, let's throw out this stinky freaking Sonic trash. And you guys, I'm always getting other people's freaking mail. This came to my house. This is for like a dude named Jeffrey. And I literally get like so much mail from like, and it's always, it's never the same name. It's like 10 different names. So it's like, y'all need to change your address. Cause I'm getting these freaking bulky packages and I don't have a freaking marker in my car to be able to write forward. And it looks like somebody already wrote forward on here. So it's like, nobody knows where this dude lives. So stop sending it to me. So now I have to like go to the post office and be like, yo, stop sending this to me. Take it back. Um, and then I got, please update with current residence return address. Uh, can I do a tall iced coffee? Um, no ice, please. And then can I do two pumps of pumpkin? And the ice coffee? Yes. Oh, and I said tall, right? On that? Okay. Um, and then two pumps of pumpkin and then pumpkin cold foam, please. And then can I do uh, two venti cups of ice? Okay, so as I thought, as I knew, they did not have any new Starbucks cups. Like, it's the same ones that I've been seeing for months. So, whatever. Um, anyways, the thing about this that's annoying, yeah, this, this big old package, is I can't even return it in my mailbox because it's so big. So, I literally have to go to the post office. I have to make a trip for somebody else's sake. For them not changing their address. Like, I don't know what's in there. I don't know what's in there, and I'm not going to get freaking sued for keeping somebody's package. You know, it's illegal to open someone's mail, so like, it's probably illegal to hold on to it too. But anyways, so I got my tall iced coffee, no ice, with two pumps of pumpkin syrup and then pumpkin cold foam. I don't get ice because you get more bang for your buck, okay? It's a tall, but this is pretty much a venti size amount of liquid. And then all you gotta do is add ice. Like, who do y'all think y'all tricking? You ain't tricking me, okay? Plus, it's like, this is enough to last me a few hours, <laughs> maybe. But if I just get, like, a tall with a full thing of ice, it's gone in, like, five minutes. So, no thanks. So, anyways, I could just pour it into this venti cup. Um, but then my cold foam won't be at the top. You know what I mean? So, that's an issue. So, we just kind of pour some in as we go. Got to take a few sips first. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's still real good. Okay. Where did my straw go? 
I grabbed a straw. Okay. So the pumpkin syrup is like at the bottom. So we gotta kind of mix it all up in there. See all that? Stuck at the bottom. Um, if y'all don't like my busted fingernails, I'm sorry, but I don't either. Okay. So I just had like my spooky Halloween nails. They were a little grown out, but I could have still had them for a little bit. But I hit my freaking nail. I don't know on what. And it like cracked the middle of my nail. And like every time I would hit that same nail on something, it would freaking hurt so bad. So I had to take them off. And I can't get them redone until like this nail grows out to the crack where the crack is. I guess it's kind of more towards the bottom, but it's going to take like a month or so. I don't know. And it looks like it kind of did that to my middle finger. So, you know, acrylic nails be jacking your real nails up. It sucks. So, I mean, I might be able to get away with wearing press-ons for like Halloween in like a week or so. It should be healed enough for that. But for them to be putting like all those chemicals and stuff on it is going to burn. So, I'm going to wait on that. Again, I am getting my pedicure today, so at least there's that. Um, my bangs are going to be annoying me all day because I hate when they separate like this. Because I'd be switching my hair up sometimes I don't have no bangs sometimes I have like middle part sometimes I have side part so my bangs just they're not used to being like this anymore so that's why they're acting funky I just don't know I just don't know what to do with my hair anymore these days like I don't know what looks good I don't know what doesn't I don't know what looks funny like I don't know what my style is anymore this bun is not my style right now but it's gonna have to do Okay, that's a lot better now that's mixed in a little bit. Good thing they gave me a nitro lid because I can maybe just pour some of the ice in. Instead of having to take this whole thing off. We'll see. Oop. Yep, got one in there. Yep, see? It can work sometimes. But when the ice is too big, it ain't gonna work. this way also this is good if you like don't plan on like chugging your drink because when they put too much ice it gets all watered down and gross so you just add ice as you go to keep it nice and cold and now there's definitely plenty of room for a good amount of ice i just don't know why everyone doesn't do this like it's still a six dollar drink come on I could buy a whole McDonald meal for that. So compared to like an eight or nine dollar drink, I'm good on that. When it's the same amount, waste of money. And right now y'all know, like, I mean, okay, I'm back and forth and I think it has to do with my childhood, but also just being savvy. Like I'm cheap when I need to be. I mean, I wanna say cheap, but like, I know when to save money and how to save money, but I also will spend a bunch of money on things that are quality you know like i can have a four thousand dollar purse and a ten dollar shirt you know what i mean like it just depends what it is if i care enough um i like to have nice things you know but again i just spend a bunch of money on my dog's surgery so i need to save money where i can but without depriving myself because i've literally been doing nothing like i have not went out of the house for like a week i've been stuck in the house haven't been going nowhere I haven't been spending no money, which is good. But I haven't been shopping like normal. Which is also why I'm like, it's hard to do a vlog because I feel like usually when I'm like doing a vlog, I'm eating and I'm shopping and like running errands. And so today I thought was a perfect day because I do need to make some returns, go to the post office, get that little thing out of the way, eat, get some Starbucks, get my petty. I just need to get a lot done today. So plus it was just like, I have been staying home with the dogs so long and it's just it's just a lot sometimes so these dogs that I've had you guys I've had three dogs and they're all siblings and then I was like taking care of the guy's cats at his house he has four cats and three dogs that's a lot but I've had him for like a week and then like he's had the worst experience you guys his flight keeps getting delayed so it's been like an extra three nights so and it adds up and I'm like, I keep thinking like, oh, they're leaving today, they're leaving today. And then I was like thinking they were gonna leave today at four. Now they might not even get here till tomorrow um, or really late tonight. So yeah, I have no idea when they're leaving. 
and so yeah right now i have quite a bit of the hogs at home but i let them all like run around and go crazy this morning and have a lot of backyard time to go potty and they all eat and everything so i'm like this is a good time now that they're all probably tired taking a nap at home that i can get some things done because i need some me time i've just been like in a really bad mood so i need to just get some starbucks get some food make some returns get some new items um stuff like that so we're gonna go ahead and eat somewhere i do kind of want to get like the chick-fil-a chicken wrap because i haven't had that in a long time i just had a salad last night so i don't think i want that i'm not feeling like no big old chicken sandwich and stuff so yeah let's go ahead and get it it's saturday you guys so chick-fil-a is closed tomorrow i might as well get it before i can't get it tomorrow you know what i mean so let's go on a trip in our favorite rocket ship moving through these roads a little chelsea girl okay if you know you know little einsteins if you got a younger sibling you probably know if you got a child you probably know like my little brother used to watch that when i was a kid so anyways <laughs> we out here also you guys it is so therapeutic and like i just love bumping music in the car like it's just something different like i don't know i love driving but i hate driving it depends on the day it depends where i'm going it's just a whole vibe when i got my favorite jams okay who am i talking about jams okay <laughs> i got my favorite songs my favorite hits playlist and i'm just vibing but thank god i have some tylenol in here guys I don't know if my freaking headache's about to go away. The traffic is insane right now. It is ridiculous. I'm like, oh my God, what is going on? And then I'm like, oh yeah, it's Saturday. So yeah, I got some Tylenol. So this should be good for headache. Yep, let's go. Oh, there's like a crash or something. There's a cop up here. That's why the traffic is so heavy right here. How many to take? I'm gonna just take two. Because that's how many Advils I take. So that should be good. Taking some Tylenol with some coffee. What is better than that? that went down weird okay thank god i got my little girl ew what's all over this anyways i got like my little girl pack went through this pretty quick i just got this like a month ago i mean i guess that's kind of quick but i use it as like a perfume and a car spray because it's cheap i mean 10 bucks but yeah i got everything in this little pack some hand sanitizer i forget about all this stuff though um I should put all my little wipes in there because they're just chilling. I'm just like cleaning as I ain't waiting in this freaking horrible traffic, y'all. Wow. I'm going to be late to my freaking appointment. What the heck? I mean, it's kind of funny though because like this place, they do walk-ins, right? And then when I called to get an appointment, they're all 2.30. They didn't even ask my name, my phone number, nothing how they normally would. So they wouldn't even know it's me if I'm just like, hey, I'm here for a walk-in. So they wouldn't know if I was late to my appointment if I'm the same person. You know what I mean? Oh, of course. Now I'm stuck in a red light. Can I not turn that way? Like, are we blocked off? What the heck? So like the Good Samaritan I am, the nice person I am, I did call the nail spa salon and I was like, hey, I had a 2.30, but it's probably gonna be like three traffic's bad, which it is, but I need some food. I need some food. I'm not gonna be eating during the pedicure. Yo, weird. Who does that? So anyways, um, I know they don't really care. It doesn't really affect them, but I was like, just in case they're waiting on me, or trying to rush somebody else's pedicure or whatever like at least they'll know they're just like okay they don't even ask my name they don't even care like, i just don't want to be i don't want to be holding nobody up so hopefully this freaking headache goes away soon because oh my god so y'all know i'm not chick-fil-a drive through just waiting to talk on the clock Ugh. if anybody has any hair bun tutorials drop the comment with the link right now because i mean i feel like it depends on it doesn't look too bad right now it depends on like how many days it's been since i washed my hair too like i feel like the longer i go without washing it the better it stays because my hair is like either super way too soft and straight that it doesn't like stay up it'll just get flat you know so it's like i don't even know two three days since i washed my hair so that's why it's like kind of in the middle of being okay-ish Okay, so I know sometimes I incorporate like my mukbang into my vlog, but I feel like today's gonna be kind of a long vlog. So I think I'm just gonna do like a YouTube short. 
with what I eat. So I'm gonna grab my food now. Remember Chelsea? Yes. Here is that diet doctor. Thank you. So that's all y'all are about to see for the food. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do like a little quick YouTube short because um, I just want to eat fast because if I try to do like a whole incorporate this into the vlog, I'm going to want to talk and take forever and I'm trying to get to the petty. Okay, so I'm just going to do me eating the food on a short. Hopefully I get three more subscribers from that short because I'm at 5,900. 197 subscribers so i'm three away from 6,000 subscribers y'all one day i'm about to be at a million so i'm speaking it into existence now but yeah it's just crazy y'all i used to have 70,000 subscribers on tiktok so like it just feels like it's taking so long to get the youtube going because y'all just don't mess with me like that i don't know i don't know but um I got lots of views on here, so it's like, what's going on? Anyways, let me chill. I'm humble. I just need to get these views up. I need to get these subscribers up. I'm trying to build my YouTube channel. You know what I mean? So, oh, there's a homeless guy out here. Shirt off and everything. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm a little nervous to park right here, but hopefully he don't come up to me. And if he does, I guess he's about to be on YouTube. So yeah. Oh girl. Ooh no, nah, my soda's about to spill. Lock the doors. Lock the doors. Again. I'll be telling y'all, lock your doors, okay? Um like he's literally like there. You see him? He's literally right there. So yeah. Just be prepared at all times. And again, there's like no homeless people where I live. Like literally that's like the first I mean, I'm assuming he's homeless. I mean, I'm not trying to be judgmental, but like, why you out here with no shirt on? Looking a little rough. Okay, so I'm really not trying to be rude. I'm just like cautious. That's the reason I talk about it. Um, because like, I've just had so many encounters with homeless people that has made me nervous. Like, I'm a tiny female, okay? I'm alone the majority of the time. Like, even when I'm with somebody, like, there's been some crazy stories. And I don't know if I've told y'all. I kind of want to tell y'all now. But, like, I've literally had, so this was when I was alone. I literally had a homeless guy standing, like, in front of a Taco Bell where I used to live, where it was, again, there wasn't that many homeless people. And he's standing in front of me. And he was going car to car asking people for money. But, like, literally, I was, like, looking down because I was going to go into Taco Bell. But I was scared to get out because I already knew he was going to try to talk to me. And he was literally staring at me at the front of my truck just waiting for me to get out. I was like, dude, I feel so unsafe. So, like, I didn't get out. I was just on my phone, like, waiting for him to leave. And so he comes up to my freaking window. And he's like, can I have some money? And I'm just like, bro, do you see me ignoring you? Like, and... Again, like, I was doing a mukbang, you guys, when there was another guy that came up to my window, and I thought it was the guy, like, telling me, oh, your pay meter's done, like, you're about to get a ticket. So I was like, uh, hello? Because otherwise, I'd just ignore him, um, for my safety reasons. And he's like, can I have some money? And I'm like, I got some food. You want some food? He's like, you don't got money? And I'm like, you obviously aren't hungry, so you clearly aren't using the money for good. And that's the reason I try to stay away, because, because... The majority, the majority of the homeless people always deny food. And, like, if I'm going to give you food, I know at least that's, it's going to something good. And then another time, a guy, at least I was with, you know, my man at that time. So, I was like, okay. But he freaking comes up to the window because we were, like, a little bit. And he smelled it, too. Um, he's like, y'all smoke? He's like, I smoke crack. He's like... Can I have some money? And I'm like, you just told us you smoke crack and you're asking for some money. Bro, get up out of here. <laughs> like, that is why I'm very cautious. Because it's like all the experiences that I've, that I've had is just like, I have to be alert. I have to be on edge. And it's just like, again, 
luckily most of the time i'm in my car like i'm not like on the street walking anywhere so just be careful you guys <laughs> got my pedicure it could have went either way and it actually went good so yes thank you turn out good i'm always nervous to do walk-in pedicures or anything i don't do walk-in nails because no i don't trust people like that but for pedicure i'm like okay they're way down there so if anybody sees them they're not like gonna be all up close and personal but these are just like you know you hand in money you hand in whatever you're grabbing your drink people are always complimenting my fingers so but yeah they did good like the last time the person that didn't didn't like massage very well like didn't do that long of a massage and then the nail polish was not wasn't that great but today the lady that like did like most of pedicure like massage trim filed all that she then had switch with another lady because she probably wasn't that great at french tip and another lady did the nail polish and it turned out really good so thank you lord i was about to go to the post office but it's saturday and they're already closed all right so just left bath and body works Ugh, my phone never wants to stay right here if you don't stay Ugh, okay so i'm a little nervous i swear it always falls it never fails so anyways they have like a really good deal 60 percent off of everything that's like fall right now so i only spent like 25 dollars on all this which is not bad at all. So this candle was only 10 bucks and it's normally like 27. It's smoked caramel mezcal. This is the only one they had that was 10 bucks. The rest were 13. So I'm just like, okay, save a few bucks at least. This was a little strong, I'm not gonna lie. Very caramely, like it smells like stronger than a Starbucks caramel macchiato, okay? And I normally don't go for these types of candles, but this will be like a good kitchen candle you know just to make it smell like you're baking or something or i guess drinking coffee whatever um very strong but i already know it's gonna make the house smell good but it's just like these kind of scents just like overpower and it just like almost makes me feel nauseous when i'm not in the mood for sweet things is that weird i don't know but yeah and it's really cute or whatever and then i just got this spf 20 sunscreen lotion i've never seen oh looks like my camera's moving see um Okay, so I've never seen Bath & Body Works have, like, an SPF lotion, so that surprised me. And this was normally 20 and I think it was, like, what, 6 bucks or something? Let's see. Um, it was, like, 8 bucks. That's crazy. And so I decided to try it out. I'm getting kind of low on lotion. I didn't really smell anything. It does kind of smell like sunscreen. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's not the best scent. It literally kind of just smells like an orangey, citrusy lotion, like a SPF lotion. But, I mean, it does seem very moisturizing. And sometimes I don't want to wear sunscreen over lotion. It gets to be too much. And it's like sometimes I forget. So that's a good two-in-one kind of thing. 
And then I got this little vetiv vetiver and vanilla essential oil mist. Has vitamin E and aloe. Again, really cheap. This is normally $15.95. And it was $6. Okay. This is going to be my uh, car spray. Okay. And then they got the girlfriend hand sanitizer. Like 70 cents. Why would you pass it up? Why would you pass it up? I got a bunch of these just in my car because you always need hand sanitizer. And then I got this freshly brewed coffee, three bucks. Look at the cutie. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> save some money and get some cute clothes p.s look at this beautiful sundown it looks so pretty right now i even got the little like ring light mirror thing going on so people are probably like staring because it's getting dark out and you could definitely see me now so i'm doing it for y'all i know i tried on a lot of stuff you guys i'm a very picky person and oh my god i got such a good deal i got literally half off everything so i saved like 70 dollars, and that's not even like the clearance stuff so because i applied for the credit card because she's all it'll be 50 percent off everything if you get the credit card and girl all you gotta do is get the credit card get approved save half your money and never use it again you literally just pay that off and you never ha never have to use it again does not do anything doesn't affect anything your credit score might even go up so this is insane you guys so it came to so I saved $111 and I only I only spent $64. I saved like double what I spent. That's crazy. Um, because a lot of things were some things were on clearance, but oh my god, I gotta show you guys what I got. I got the best style. Like, not to toot my own horn, but I got the best style, you guys. Like, and I really needed to come up on my like fall clothing because I don't have like a lot of cardigans and sweaters and really cute like fashion sense kind of shirts and stuff oh my god somebody next to me so i had to come up because like a lot of the like sweaters and like winter and fall clothes that i have is like sweatshirts like baggy like nike stuff like that in my feminine era okay your girl's getting older like i'm obsessed with fashion it's time to like lock down on the girly fashion okay so I can't believe this was so cheap. I barely spent anything, okay, considering. So 
I had to get this cute little cream in it real shirt. This is so me. And I need like a few more like Halloween stuff. I know it's almost Halloween. Like literally a week. So I can probably only wear this like once before Halloween. But it's fine. It was super freaking cheap at the end of the day. Okay. This shirt, you guys saw my reaction. I'm like, oh, this is so me. This is freaking adorable. It is still like nice and classy, you guys. It's nice and slimming. Oh my God, this is the best freaking, this is so cute. The little cinched part, the little collar. This is so freaking cute. I love the color. And I had to get the same one in black, okay? Cause the freaking style is so cute. And you could do so many outfits with this. You can wear them alone. You can wear it with a sweater over it, whatever, okay? And then I'd get these cute little fuzzy socks, okay? Ended up being like $2, okay? so cute so soft so comfy warm and i love the vibe okay so that first cardigan i tried on this like nude this nude moment this would actually look good with this like this could look good with so many outfits and i wasn't really fond of the color because it's like a nude but this is also like tan is coming in more um more in style like all the other ones they didn't have an extra small they didn't have an extra small in black or white or nothing but i love this color you can definitely do a lot with this again and then this gray sweater is so cute. Again, like it's giving me Carlton vibes. It's giving me a rich, bougie, classy woman vibe. And it is so adorable. I love the pattern. I love when the sleeves are like super slimming at the end. So comfy, so warm. This again would look super cute with this outfit. Like you could really do so much with this. And honestly, I would just wear it like how I did just open. Um, but you also have these buttons on it that you can like you know button it up if you want or if you're really cold and that was everything you guys and for pjs i could not find any ones i liked a lot of the clothing there fits weird and especially on me like i could tell like a lot of it was cheap like the creep in it real shirt was pretty cheap like material you could tell but like the sweaters and everything else like that looked pretty quality but like a lot of the shirts were really thin you could tell they weren't gonna last long um, but they, they just fit like loose in weird areas and like up here and I did not like that. So I tried on a lot and I'm very picky, but I got a lot because normally I would not buy this much because I would not like it. So that was like pretty much all I needed. I really wanted to get a few more like clothing haul. I really wanted to get more like fall clothes and I think I need to head home you guys because it's getting dark, it's getting late and I don't need to spend any more money. I did really good today. Like there's... All these other stores that I could definitely go spend some money at, but I think I'm good. <laughs> tell me why my 80 pound people is terrified of two little wiener dogs tell me he literally would not come down the stairs to the patio because they are scared of him and they bark at him and he's just terrified of them like he literally just sits there like mom they're gonna attack me so he had to go potty in the front i'm such a dork Where's your toy? Go get your toy. Hey. Hey, Casper. Hi. Hi. Oh, my goodness. Hi. You got the toy, good girl. She got the toy. Go get it. Go get the toy. Go. Yo, tell me why this dog keeps peeing on my patio. The girl. Hmm. Why keep peeing in the weirdest places, huh? Yeah, I know it's you, because you pee on my sidewalk. 
in my patio. Lord. Okay, so as y'all can tell, there's a lot going on. So I finally got an update on these dogs because they weren't sure if they were staying the night tonight or not because their flight, they kept trying to get one and it was not going as planned. But they are coming tonight. They said they could either come 10.30 a.m. tomorrow or tonight around 10.30, which that's not too crazy late for me. So I'm like, yeah, that would be a lot less stress. So I didn't say that, but I'm just like, okay, yeah, I'm sure they'd love to see you. Uh, Cause the wiener dogs, they go crazy. Like they bark really, really loud for being that tiny. And they're like the only ones barking. I've noticed that a lot. Wiener dogs, they cry and they bark a lot. Very vocal. So they bark at Charlie. They bark at any other new dog, even though they've been around the new dog a few times. So it's just a lot. So I definitely have to separate them, especially because it's nighttime. And well, it's really not that, it's not that late, but it just gets dark quicker. Um, so I don't even know Karen, AKA my evil neighbor to be calling the cops or anything. So. Like, I got three big dogs outside. They aren't even barking or nothing. So, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, just a few more hours until the dogs leave. Three, the boxer and the two wiener dogs. So, then I'm only going to have two. And then Charlie, three. So, yeah. Um, the one that keeps peeing everywhere, I don't know what her problem is. But literally, like, the second I... The second I took her out on my front porch, like where the cement is, she peed. Like literally she could hold it literally one more second to step over the cement and go in the grass. So I don't know why she just like wants to pee everywhere like a boy would, but I've literally never had no dogs pee on my patio except for her. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. But um, then like the gray dog, Casper, he's very, very, very well behaved. Like I've had no issues very sweet doesn't do nothing doesn't bark doesn't whine listens good so i'm glad it'll just be him and then nova the girl beside the ping thing she's pretty good so <laughs> i want to say that's not good but it's just like ew everyone's stepping on that you know gross like i'm very cautious now about wearing any type of shoes anywhere in my house i i've always been but like ew so Anyways, I'm just going to unpack my new clothes or unpack. I'm going to take out my new clothes, hang them up. Like, why do I even bother to get, like, cute, fashionable clothes? Because I literally live in, like, sweats and t-shirts at home. I don't go anywhere. So, but no. Every now and then I'll go out to dinner or a movie or something. So, nice to have some type of fashion besides just looking like a bum all the time. Oh, my God. This bun, though, is not doing it for me looking a little a little ratchet right now who uses ratchet anymore not me <laughs> but anyways so i think that's gonna be the end of the vlog i feel like it was a pretty good day pretty long day so i definitely needed that little break to get some food a pedicure and get some new clothes you guys i was so just like stressed it just there's just been so much going on and then I know once these three dogs leave, it's going to feel so quiet and so empty in this house. Like, it's just a whole different feeling. And they literally will bark at, like, every every little sound and every little thing. So, it's just it's just a lot. But, um, dang, that's crazy because I only ate lunch today, which was the Chick-fil-A. And it's already super dark. It feels like 9. And I still need to eat dinner eventually. I'm kind of weirdly already getting hungry, but I feel like I didn't eat that much. So, anyways, I think that's gonna be the end of the vlog. I'm just gonna chill and relax for the next couple hours till these dogs leave, and then I'm gonna really relax after they leave. <laughs> but thank you guys for tuning into this vlog. Give me a like on this video, subscribe if you're a new watcher, and turn on the bell so you guys don't miss any upcoming videos. See you next time. Bye, guys.